A. Tarnished Legacy Unveiling the Dark Side of Mohammed Al-Fayed Mohammed Al-Fayed, former owner of Harrods, was shrouded in opulence and controversy. His flamboyant personality transformed Harrods into a symbol of luxury. However, beneath the success lay a dark secret of alleged predatory behavior. Recent allegations have exposed a disturbing history of sexual harassment and abuse. Al-Fayed allegedly exploited his power to prey on vulnerable young women. The allegations have cast a long shadow over Harrods, tarnishing its reputation. The bravery of the victims has shed light on a dark chapter, paving the way for a more transparent future. Timeline of allegations. Decades of predatory behavior. The allegations against Mohammed Al-Fayed span several decades, painting a picture of a sustained pattern of predatory behavior. The accusations date back to the late 1970s, shortly after Al-Fayed acquired Harrods. Former employees have recounted instances of unwanted sexual advances, inappropriate comments, and coercive behavior. The timeline of these allegations provides a chilling glimpse into the extent of Al-Fayed's alleged misconduct. It reveals a consistent pattern of targeting young women who were often seeking employment or career advancement within the Harrods organization. One of the earliest reported incidents occurred in 1979 when a young woman alleged that Al-Fayed made unwanted sexual advances towards her during a job interview. Over the years, similar accusations emerged with numerous women claiming to have been subjected to inappropriate behavior by Al-Fayed. The allegations range from unwanted touching and suggestive comments to more serious accusations of sexual assault. The sheer number of accusations and the consistency of the accounts paint a disturbing picture of Al-Fayed's alleged predatory behavior. The timeline of allegations continues through the 1980s, 1990s, and into the 2000s, demonstrating a persistent pattern of abuse. Women who worked at Harrods during these periods have come forward with stories of harassment and intimidation. They describe a culture of fear and silence where speaking out against Al-Fayed's behavior was seen as career suicide. The fear of retaliation prevented many victims from coming forward, allowing Al-Fayed's alleged misconduct to continue unchecked. The most recent allegations date back to 2013, just a few years before Al-Fayed sold Harrods. These accusations highlight the fact that Al-Fayed's alleged predatory behavior continued until the very end of his tenure as owner of the department store. The timeline of allegations demonstrates a clear and consistent pattern of abuse, spanning decades and impacting the lives of numerous women. The accusations paint a disturbing portrait of a man who used his position of power to exploit and abuse those who worked for him. The Metropolitan Police Review uncovering a pattern of abuse. In this section, we delve into the documentary evidence and testimonies that have surfaced over the years. These documents and personal accounts paint a troubling picture of the actions and decisions taken by Mohammed Al-Fayed. From internal memos to first-hand testimonies, the evidence is both compelling and alarming. Many individuals have come forward, sharing their experiences and shedding light on the darker aspects of Al-Fayed's tenure. These testimonies are crucial as they provide a human element to the documented evidence, making the allegations all the more real and pressing. Harrods, under the leadership of Mohammed Al-Fayed, has faced its own set of allegations. The complicity of the institution and the price of silence are central themes in this narrative. Employees and associates have spoken about the culture of secrecy and the pressures to remain silent. The cost of speaking out was often too high, leading many to stay quiet. This culture of silence allowed questionable practices to continue unchecked, raising serious ethical and moral questions about the responsibilities of leadership and the role of institutions in protecting their own. In recent years, Harrods has made efforts towards accountability and healing. The institution has taken steps to address past wrongs and to create a more transparent and ethical environment. Initiatives have been put in place to ensure that the voices of employees are heard and that their concerns are addressed. These efforts are crucial in rebuilding trust and in moving forward. While the journey towards full accountability and healing is ongoing, these steps represent a commitment to change and a recognition of the importance of ethical leadership and institutional responsibility.